Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the next four issues of the Warhammer 40,000 Conquest subscription. They are in here. If you don't already know, it is a monthly subscription or weekly. Well, they charge you every month um, and you get an issue a week, but you get them all bundled together, four of them every month. So they cost eight pounds each or 7.99. So that is uh, about 32 pounds that they'll be taking out of your bank account every single uh, month. That's 32 pounds that, let's face it, you could get a uh, codex a month or you could get uh, a box set of miniatures um, or you could restock uh, a lot of your paints and brushes and maybe buy a can of spray. So it's quite an investment aimed at sort of newcomers to the hobby. Really, really don't think it's aimed at uh, existing people in the hobby at all now, uh, just because yes, you do uh, save a fair bit off the retail price, but then you can go and get these models. These models have been around a few years now and go and get them from like third party sellers and things. Let's unwrap this. Uh, I did notice there was some kind of opt out um, sheet from the email. Uh, this has arrived, I think a week later than usual. Uh, I'm doing this in June, so yeah, it just goes to show you how far uh, back I, I am. There's an opt-out sheet, here it is, it says you get to uh, explore the background of the daring and deadly Silver Templars. No, I think I will opt out of that because it's £20, it just says it's a full colour hardcover title basically extensive gallery of ex expertly painted silver templars to inspire your own um and then you get an all new short story uh i don't think i will do that i think i will email them and um just say that i don't want that because you know that is quite a lot of money 20 pound uh i mean if it was a codex then yeah that's fine but 20 pound is no way it shows you expertly painted silver templars and a short story for 20 pound. If it showed like artwork, which it doesn't actually say in this description, if it showed artwork, so it basically includes fantastic artwork and an extensive gallery of expertly painted silver templars. That's all it shows and, and a short story. I'm not into that at all. I think I'll skip it. It doesn't have any specific rules in there, which is a bit of a letdown. If it had the rules in, then I'd probably bite, but 20 pounds is, is too much. And this is what I kind of thought that they do. Um, it sucks, uh, you know, you pay your 32 pounds, that isn't enough. They want, you know, they've got you with that direct debit. They want to get, um, I think 15 pound was the, the other art book. And then there's 20 pound for this. And then they charged me eight quid for a second binder. So overall, you're now looking at uh, over 40 quid extra. Um, and this is what I kind of thought that they'd do, you know, but I'm going to cancel that. I, I don't think that that's, uh, it's not something that I want or need, even though it's part of, I say the collection, uh, I'm absolutely fine to, you know, go ahead and opt out of that. Anyway, let's have a look at the, the issues themselves. Uh, so you've got issue 38, 37, 36, and 35. So there you go, a few uh, pricey, pricey miniatures in here, I think. Um, okay, so what are you getting for your 32 pound? Well, you are getting 22 pound 50 um, Primaris Chaplin. I think he's 22 pound 50. Uh, yeah, he is 22 pound 50 for the Primaris Chaplin. Um, so for 10 pound more of this subscription, you're also getting uh, four paints, more scenery, that's a repeat from the last selection of, of issues, which is a bit disappointing. Um, but you get a Plague Surgeon as well, uh, which is £15. So already, that's £37.50. So you're saving five quid, and you're getting two paints and a shade, and some scenery. So, you know, bundled together, that does save you a bit. And it even saves you a little bit if you were to get all these things, you know, from a third party seller. So overall, this month's pretty good. There is a preview of what's to come in issue 38. So uh, stay tuned to these um, videos and you'll see, um, you know, the previews if you watch uh, 38. Alternatively, you can just go on the Warhammer 40,000 Conquest uh, website and it lists, um, you know, all the upcoming um, 
magazines, well most of them anyway, and uh, what's included with them. But it doesn't tell you about the extra binder, it doesn't tell you about the other artwork book, and it doesn't tell you about the Sem Silver Templars book, so it doesn't tell you about a few things that are missing on there. I just want to point that out. Okay, uh, you probably come for issue 35 first look, so let's uh, unwrap this. Um, issue 36 uh, will be the unboxing and review because there's, you know, there's no miniatures in there. So let's unwrap this. I already have this Primaris. It does suck that you don't get a helmetless um, version of him, but um, there we go. I might be able to move his arms a little bit, change, change his pose from the other one, but there we go. Um, so this is the issue. Let's just have a little rundown of, of this. So Space Marine Chaplains, um, specifically, you know, Primaris ones. Chapter Cults, Primaris Chaplain War Gear. Uh, and then War Gear Data File, that's better. Um, Age of the Imperium, uh, Litany of Hatred, it's a bit more about um, chaplains, which is pretty good, that's quite good content that. How to build your Primaris uh, Chaplain, it's quite straightforward, you build him in sort of 10-20 minutes, and then how to paint him. Nice fancy red there, using the uh, Mephiston red and the Retributor armour, and then Celeste Grey. Uh, for the um, sort of scrolls, Agrax Earthshade on the gold, and that's the colour that they've sort of painted him as. Um, that's all right. A sacred defence uh, behind the shrine, and the Primaris Chaplain uh, data sheet, of which I'll be drawing from when I um, review uh, this magazine. And then that, nothing else, and then a, a little look at the next two issues, which we've already seen in this uh, sort of unboxing. Um, let's have a look at the um, sprue itself. So it's the same as the you know normal sprue that would cost you £22.50 uh, just in blue plastic. You've got a shoulder pole in there, you've got the front of the cloak and the armour, you've got the uh, the book, you've got the I want to call it a bolt pistol but but it's an absolver bolt pistol, pretty pretty ridiculous that thing and then you've got the the rod and his legs. It looks like it's a peg and socket so what I might do is just cut the the pegs off and then try and move his arms in, in a slightly different way um, you know typically this is a, a monopose model it's like a character model uh, but you know with a bit of tweaking you can move things around especially with that peg there for his um, head just chop that peg off and then you can move his head in a, in a different position um, and try and get it so that it still works with the model. Anyway, that's the sprue. Won't take too long to uh, unclip from the frame and then uh, get together. And you get your uh, 40 mil base actually as well because he's a Primaris. Well, that's it for my first look at uh, issue 35 of the Conquest uh, subscription service. Uh, what do you guys think? Please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.